Good evening, everyone. My name is Mrs. Kamara, aka Howard Um, there is a video training on social media with me like kneeling down to pray for my husband. People are like asking questions, like people are saying a lot of things. Like 80, 95 percent are happy of me doing that. Like five percent is not happy. <laughs> but one thing I want to say, or oh, I'll tell anybody, your enemy today will be your helper tomorrow. Okay? Those who are like criticizing this video um, about what I did for my husband. I just want to tell them that like I love them if only they can use their effort to pray for this nation I mean Sierra Leone it would be better for us and um, I decide to like let go of so many things because I'm a woman I am married to a superstar which people like maybe the person who don't like me, that person will like my husband, okay? So I don't need to throw stone at anyone who come at me. I don't do that. If I do such, it means I don't like the career of my husband. I don't love him. So I decide to stay mute, not to say anything. I don't answer those those kind of people no i don't trust them back at them maybe they may not like me but they like my husband so because of that i'm a married woman if i love my husband i need to stand by him and forget about what people say on social media that's the first step and secondly People are like asking, why did you do that? Like kneeling down in front of public. Like over 500 people were like around watching you. If you are a Christian or you are a Muslim, you can understand. The Bible and Quran said we should submit to our husbands. Okay? Me as a woman, the husband is the head. I don't need to stand when I'm praying for my husband. I go down my knee. So even God in heaven will answer that prayer. That's the reason why I kneel down to pray for my husband. I hope I have answered your questions. And the second thing is people are like asking what is your wish for your team, your husband in playing for? See, my prayer today as a woman, as a citizen of Sierra Leone, over how many years we have not been celebrating victory in this nation? I think this is the time for Sierra Leone to celebrate again. 2022 is for Sierra Leone. Mark my word, the cop is coming home. Between Algeria and Sierra Leone, the game is on the level and it's going to fall on Tuesday. We are going to defeat Algeria by two goals to one. Sierra Leone two, Algeria one. That's my prayer because I love Sierra Leone. This is my flag. I love this nation. And my husband is also proud of this nation. So the best thing I can do as a woman, because of the love I have for my husband, I need to go down my knees and pray, not only for my husband, but I pray for the nation. I pray for the team because even if my husband become the highest goal scorer 
and have gone. Yes, he will have the praise, but they will say Sierra Leone. So, my husband first, and second is my country. Okay? And people are asking, like, they want me to tell them the role my husband play in football. He's a striker. He's a country best. Anytime I'm with my husband, if we are passing on the road, like, even if we are in a car, people, like, shouting, oh, country striker, country striker, country striker. So it makes me feel good about the position my husband is playing. Okay. And secondly, I've come. I had a lot of questions in front of me. Someone asked another question, uh, how I feel about AFCON, and I think I feel so blessed. I just want to say a very big thank you to the people who created this platform because they give an opportunity to so many people out there like to showcase their talent. Um, I want to say a very big thank you on behalf of Sierra Leone. We thank you all. And the other question is, what is my wish for my husband? <laughs> Trust me, I want to see him play international. From the first day I met my husband, that's my prayer for him. I want to see my husband play international football, okay? And I pray and hope that people will give him the opportunity and they will believe in him again to prove himself to prove himself and to like showcase his talent because I so much believe in this man and I know he is always ready to make me proud and make his nation proud, trust me. My husband is a star. If you're out there, you're looking for a good footballer, trust in my husband and he will always make you proud, trust me. I am not going to Cameroon because of one reason i am going to stay back to pray for my husband and to pray for this nation because if i go to cameroon i think i will be distracted from my prayer so i think i need to stay back and pray so our dream will come true and that's the reason why i'm not going but if i was like fortunate to be in cameroon the player like i would like i would love to meet after my husband because my husband is always the best i admire <laughs> after my husband is mohammed salah who played for liverpool i so much admire this man i like him so much mohammed salah wherever you are just know that i like you and you are from egypt oh how i wish to meet with you one day okay and it will be a dream come true, trust me. I will be so much proud. And I don't know how that day will look like for me to meet with you in person. Oh God, you don't know the next thing <laughs> that will happen. Okay, because I so much like you. After my husband in the football field, I think you are the next person that I admire so much, okay? I love you wherever you are. <laughs> I like you so much. Um, my wish for my country is for them to bring the cup home. And we are going to do all our possible best to see that, yes, the cup is home. And to all the teams out there, don't be afraid to give my husband another chance. Allow him prove himself as a star. Um, to my husband, this is my last word. Wherever you are in Cameroon, just know that your wife loves you so much. And I will not stop loving you. The bond between us is very strong and deep, which people will never understand. But one day they will understand. They will learn to understand what is the meaning of L-O-V-E, love. 